everybody. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys what I have been up to lately. Um, I still have to do Serenity's 17th month update, which I will do probably sometime today. Um, but this is what I've been up to. I've been making a lot of stuff. I actually made more than this, but um, they went home to their owners. And so, yeah, I can't keep them here with me. Um, but I do take pictures and I upload them to my Instagram. And I upload them to my store's Facebook page. So, this is what I've been doing. These over here are like um, a type of phone charms, dangles. I call them phone bling. Just, I need to think of a new name for them. Um, this was the first one I made probably about 5 or 10 years ago. It's really old. But I like it because it stretches. And it's got a little... Lobster claw. I actually originally made this for a belly button of mine, but when I put it on and I clipped this to it, it was actually kind of long, like way too long for me, so I just took it off and never used it. I threw it in a box and called it happy. And uh, I never looked at it again until not too long ago. These are for a customer, and they will be going home soon along with this reborn bracelet. Um, this reborn bracelet and this one actually match. The uh, my customer wanted them to have the same beadwork. Uh, the pink beads are different, however, it is the same concept and the same colors, so it works out. She wanted a key on it. And then this one has a lizard, and then it's got purple, green, and orange beads, and then the white one, the white one, the white beads um, are in the middle to hold it all together. It turned out really nice, and I made this one to loop for her. Um, so it turned out really nice. This is a child's bracelet, actually. Um, it fits John, and he's four years old, so um, it fits kids between three and four years old. However, it is a little tight on him. So I recommend probably between two and three years old, but he's four, and it fits him pretty good. And I made this in Halloween colors because, um, well, no, I mean, Halloween is my favorite holiday, and I was watching a Halloween Charmed, um, episode in season three when I was making this, so, you know. This is a Native American necklace that is now being, I'm giving to my, re my new reborn baby. She'll be here probably around July, between July and maybe August, um, but she is a little bit of Native American like I am, so this will be hers. And I still have to make her an outfit. This is a ring. Um, it's kind of big on me. Like, it doesn't fit, so, you know, definitely not my size. I'd probably have to go a little smaller for it to fit. Probably have to lose that much of the ring for it to fit me, so. Might fit my mom. This is my expecting baby bracelet. Um, I made it in my favorite colors, which is blue. Um, but my blue, kind of hard for me to find in beads. Um, and I added a baby feet charm because I am expecting my new baby soon. And I'm actually quite excited for it. And I, this, all of this stuff fits me to my size. So if you guys want to know what size I wear, um, I post it on with the pictures on my Facebook page. Um, yeah. This is one my necklaces. Um, it's actually quite small on me. And it doesn't really fit very well. It kind of chokes, actually, quite. it chokes me quite a bit. So um, I wanted to wear it. And so I made extensions for it, which are these. Um, they have lobster claws and clasps at the end of them. And then what you do is you connect them to the ends and it makes it a little bit bigger for you to wear um i made them in two and three hoops and it actually fits me on the two hoops so that's pretty good for me and then the three hoops i actually actually doubles as a ring which is actually pretty cool so this has a two in one um uh, and this one probably has a two in one as well but you know because i use it so 
Those are no necklaces. I can use, I can make them smaller for you, and then you can have the connectors, or I can make them to fit. Um, and this is my, this is actually, this one and my bracelet are actually my best makes so far. This is my Native American themed, um, anklet. And I used the basic Native American colors, like blues and browns, and then I added a little deer on it. Um, and it's so cute, and I love it. It's got aquamarine hearts, and which you can't really tell from far away. Um, it's got blue, browns, light browns, and blacks in it, which is kind of like their main colors that you see. Um, and then they also do reds and I think yellows. And last but not least, I now can make Dreamcatcher keychains. Um, I'm going to have to redo the webbing on this one because it's kind of falling apart. And it's the webbing kind of sucks on it. Um, so I will be probably redoing the webbing on it because it looks like that. And it's kind of a horrid. You can see it's falling apart and coming loose. I made this a few days ago. Um, so I'm going to redo the webbing eventually. And then... I'm actually working on another one. I actually got the webbing pretty good on this one. So you can see. I managed to throw a bead in there because I almost forgot before I closed it up. And it turned out really good. Like, I was not expecting this. Um, it's got a purple bead in the middle. And this one is actually custom for my boyfriend because I felt bad that the webbing in this one looks horrible. So he wants one that is in purple, black, and red, and I already got beads set out for it. And then I'm going to add some feathers, and this is the deer skin leather lace that I'll be adding for this, as well as the beads. So, you guys can check out everything that I've made so far on my Facebook page at Selenite's Nursery. Um, and eventually, probably in by tonight, I will have this one finished, and hopefully it looks really good because I am actually so thankful this one came out really good so far. And, of course, my string came in the mail so I can finally finish this one, which I started making last night. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and if you guys want any custom orders, let me know. I will eventually start taking custom orders for these ones, probably within the next month or two. Um, until then, I do the blues and browns and blacks and primary colors, the usual colors from Native Americans for the keychains. But if you want to wait, you can wait until I do the customs. That's pretty much it so far, and thanks for watching. Please check out my Facebook page. Bye!